Good morning, everybody. Today I am taking a break from the park. I am worn out because over the past couple of days, I have just been running like crazy. And even though I want to go to the park and it's such a nice day out, I think I'm just going to stay in today. I've got more things to get done. Hold on, I want to take a drink. <sighs> My faucet is dripping. <laughs> This whole house needs cleaned up. But there's a couple things I thought that I would show you that I picked up uh, while I was at uh, Amish Country yesterday. We went out to a buffet called uh, Dutch Valley. And although I was good, I had roasted chicken and green beans. That's it. I wanted everything I saw, especially those mashed potatoes. But I didn't get them. I was good. I've still got a ton of weight to lose here. And in like 11 days, 10 days, we have another way in and we're going to move some more marbles over. So let me set this camera down and I'll show you a couple things I got here that I'm excited about. Okay, never mind my dirty dishes in the background <laughs> that I need to clean up tonight yet. Um, whenever I go down here to, uh, to this place, like I said, it's called Dutch Valley. And that is where I have found the best popcorn. I got two bags of this popcorn. Now I can't have popcorn very often because of my low carb diet, but we have a popcorn machine and I have tried a lot of different kinds and this is the best kind. <clears throat> this is medium yellow. These are only $2.79 a bag and the kernels pop up nice and big like what you get at the movie theater. Now they also have uh, what's called mushroom popcorn, which is actually what you see used in caramel corn. It just, it looks like a ball. You know, it looks like a little brain actually. I don't really prefer it. I mean, for caramel corn, yes, it's great. Sometimes I get it and I mix it in with this stuff just so there's a little different texture. And sometimes I've noticed that they just go ahead and put some in here anyway, which I'm sure it's hard to keep it separated. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but, but that's the kind of popcorn I like to use. Now, this is something else I picked up while I was over there. This is what I usually use when I make popcorn. This is organic coconut oil. Now, I've tried a lot of different coconut oils. And this one, I don't really like the way it smells because it really does smell like coconut. And I know you're thinking, well, duh, it's coconut oil. Um, but some of them don't smell like that. Some of them don't have any kind of a coconut smell at all. But what I usually do is I put a little bit of that in and then I put a little bit of real butter also. But I found this Tender Pop coconut oil, like I said, in Amish country. and. It really has no smell. I can't, I can't smell anything in there, but it's obviously like yellow, like an orange, kind of looks like a candle. And, and the girl there said that that's basically what this is, is coconut oil infused with butter. And it's made specifically for popping corn. So I'm hoping that this helps to give my corn more of that like movie butter taste, if that makes sense to you. So I'm gonna be trying that pretty soon here. I'm not sure when, really trying to be good on this diet and not have anything that I shouldn't have. The other thing I wanted to show you is this little book here. And I honestly used to cringe at stuff like this, but this is called Promises and Prayers for Men. I really like this book. I mean, it feels almost like a leather cover. It's a really nice cover. But basically what this is, it's kind of like a daily devotional. This has 40 days of things. And uh, and basically each day has like a theme to it. And uh, like this one here, it's they each of them starts out with a Bible verse. This one says, the one who blesses others is abundantly blessed. Those who help others are helped. Proverbs 11:25. Then you can see it has like a little story here, a couple pages where it kind of goes through that, you know, and helps you to understand a little bit more about what that really means instead of just reading the verse and being like, okay, I get it and go on about your day. Then at the end of that, it has two things here. The timely tip on this one says, when you focus on being a blessing, God makes sure that you are always blessed in abundance. Uh, Joel Osteen. So apparently that's something Joel Osteen said. And then under try it, it says, be on the lookout for someone to help today. 
And I really like that. I like that it kind of gives you that challenge. Because that way you can you can read this in the morning each day, and then it kind of gives you a purpose for that day. You know, I mean, of course you have other things to do, but like that said, you know, be on the lookout for someone to help today. Kind of like I always say, pay it forward, do something for somebody else. You know, it's just that kind of call to action that gives your day a little bit more purpose. And I mean, really, that could be anything from paying for somebody's food at McDonald's at the drive-thru, or, you know, stopping to help somebody change their tire, or whatever. I mean, even just giving some good advice to somebody who is in need of that. So I really like this book. There's just lots of things in there like that. But, uh, but that's all I'm going to talk about this morning. You know, I just wanted to share a couple of those things with you that I got. And uh, keep it kind of simple this morning. You know, I, I have a lot of things to do, and I'm just not going to take the time to go out to the park today and and put together a long video. So, so wherever you guys are waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward, and let's make this world a better place. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.